Have you ever seen one of those tips, you know, where you just want to hit yourself in the head because it's like, man, I wish I'd known this all along. I've been doing this the hard way. There's a much easier way of doing things. Well, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you five of those absolutely essential, useful tips that you wish you'd known years ago. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. So I apologize I haven't uploaded for about a week. I've actually been on vacation in Hawaii, which is why I'm wearing this hat. I'm still just kind of unwinding from vacation mode. So what I'm going to do right now though is I'm going to show you five really super useful simple tips that you wish you'd known years ago. Maybe you already know some of these. Maybe they're all new to you. I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments underneath. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. The first one is finding the center of the document. So right now we're going to show the center of the document. But before we do that, let's turn on the rulers so we can add some guides. So Control R, Command R on Mac turns on the rulers. So there we go. We're ready to go. By the way, bonus tip, if you want to change the unit of measurement, you right click and here it's where you go between pixels and inches. Now you could go and you can measure it, blah, 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 but there's an easier way to find the center. Just hit Control or Command A for all, and that just selects all. And now we're just gonna hit free transform mode. So that's Control or Command T. So as simple as that, Control A or Command A, Control T, Command T, and now we can see we've got this little cross here shows us the exact center. Just click and drag out. And you notice we also see the bounding box on the top and bottom. And then we do the same thing from the top. There we go. That's the exact center of the document. So I'm just going to click here, Control D to deselect. And it's as simple as that. Tip number two, take control over your selection tools. One of the ones that we work with sometimes is our circular selection tool. And that can seem a little difficult. I've got two tips here. The first one I'm going to show you is when we drag this out, you know, we try to align it and it's not always easy. You can actually move in the middle and drag it around that way. I don't know if you knew that, but now we can't continue drawing. So let me hit control D. A way to do that is to draw it like this and now hold down the space bar and we can move the selection around as we're drawing. Now, if I want to make a selection in here, I can kind of go like that. And we've sort of got that. But what if it's not a circular selection? Well, here's another tip. If we go under the selection and we can choose to transform selection, now we can change the shape of our selection. We can even rotate it. And you can see how much more control that gives us. So we can make our selections over anything we like. Tip number three, selecting layers. And in fact, I've got another tutorial and I'll link to that where I've got five tips on just making selections. But one of the things that we want to do is sometimes select a layer and we might be working in a document like this. And this is an illustration that I did a few years ago. And this is 100% in Photoshop. And there's literally hundreds and hundreds of layers in here. So sometimes it can be really hard to make the selection on the layer that we want. Like maybe we want to select this whammy bar. So what I'm going to do is all I need to do is grab my move tool, make sure auto select is set to layer and not group. Now if I hit the control or the command key and I click, now notice I can select those layers that I want to select. See that? And we can easily just control click, select the layers we want. That would be command click on Mac. Tip number four, sometimes you want to get rid of the transparency around the edge and just get down to the pixels. Well, I'm going to show you quickly and easily how to do that in just a couple of clicks. So you could grab the, uh, the crop tool and try and crop this in exactly how you wanted. Or we can simply go up under image and then we're just going to choose trim. And this is great for web, by the way, when you want to get rid of all the excess. And we're just going to based on transparent pixels, click OK. And notice now that this trims it down to the very edges of those pixels, so there's no extra pixels left over. Okay, before we jump into the last tip, 
One of the things you might notice is some of these I'm doing for designers and some of these I'm doing for photographers. I'm curious, what do you mainly do? Designer photography, let me know in the comments. All right, the last tip right now, which is kind of the opposite of what we just did here. You know, when we crop things in, there can be areas outside of the crop area. For example, if I hit control T on this layer, we can see that we have stuff outside of the canvas. So if we want to reveal everything on here, it's as simple as going under image and then we're going to choose reveal all and notice now it will crop it larger where you can see all the pixels on the page. So I'm really curious how many of these are new to you. Let us know in the comments underneath. So I hope you enjoyed this. And by the way, I've got tons more tutorials like this every single week. If you like these kind of tutorials, hit the subscribe button right now and also ding that little bell right next to it and make sure you get notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this. If you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.